Hi guys, welcome to this video. I'm going to assume you clicked this because your LG 34UM95P won't turn on. That's actually the issue this board in front of us is facing and I'm going to show you how to solve this problem with just a multimeter. Now you can get this in any hardware store for about 27 euro but it's going to save you a lot of money and a lot of time getting this thing serviced. The reason for this board not turning on is actually this chip right here and this chip is stuck in a bad state. The reason it's stuck in this state is because it's recently suffered some sort of sudden loss of power. This could have been a power outage in the area, or it could have been somebody taking the power supply out without turning this switch off here first. So, basically what we need to do is reset this chip here, because it doesn't have the logic inside of it, in this version of the board anyway, to reset itself when there's a power outage. To do this, we're going to use the two prongs on a on a multimeter and the multimeter needs to be set up this way right this needs to be on 20 kilo ohms down here and the red needs to be in volts ohms milliamps and the black needs to be on calm once your voltmeter is set up like that what we're going to do with the voltmeter now is connect two pins on the board together in order to drive voltage through it and reset it in hopes of resetting it anyway but to do this, you actually need voltage on the board itself. That's why the board actually needs to pl be plugged in. So this is where the disclaimer comes in. I do not advise you to do this yourself without somebody who has had experience working with electronics. Um, but if you do really have to, make sure that you get some sort of non-conductive material. And when the board is on cover the whole left side with it this here is an old mouse mat of mine and it is non-conductive because during the actual solution you're going to be leaning your hand on the board itself to get to reach some of these prongs or pins and you don't want to be shocked on the left side of the board that's where all the ac is so just put something here and be very careful guys honestly now that you're all safe, I'm going to put up a diagram here about what this chip looks like in more detail. The chip actually has 8 pins, but the only pins we're going to be using are the CS, SCLK and VCC ones. Additionally to the chip, we're going to be using this output here for power. It has a little plus down here and it is labeled P900. Now, in terms of pairings, there are different pairings to do in order to jumpstart this chip back into action. But different people have reported better solutions than others. But I'm just going to list up on the screen right here uh, which pairings we're going to be doing today. The first one I recommend you to start with is black on the plus down here and red alternating be between CS and SCLK. Just do that for 30 seconds. Alternate. Maybe spend 4 th seconds on each pin and then see if she springs on. If she doesn't, Turn it off again, turn it on again, try it again. If that doesn't work, move on to option two. Option two is red on SCLK and black on CS. Hold that there for about 20 seconds. See if she springs on. If she doesn't, off, on, try it again, 20 seconds. See if it works. If not, move on to option three. Red on SCLK, black on VCC. Hold that there for about 20 seconds. If that doesn't work, on, off, try it again for 20 seconds. And if it doesn't work, then go back to the first option again. Hopefully after a while, your monitor will have sprung on. And the way to tell if your monitor even turns on is there's little holes here, um, right there. And you'll be able to see the LEDs shine through it. As soon as your monitor does turn on, and this is very important, as soon as you see light shine through, you're going to want to actually lift up the monitor and you want to actually open up the menu and go to the reset section to perform a factory reset. This factory reset basically means that this will save its state and it won't go back to being bad. Once you have factory reset the actual monitor, it is time to actually test if it's truly fixed or not. So turn it off, take the AC out, put it back in, turn it on. If she fires up, there's a big chance that you fixed it. But just try that a few times and it is possible that it will actually just break again. So just repeat all the process, but you want to make sure that it's actually fixed before you assemble the back again. 
If you found this helpful, if you fixed your monitor, leave a like, subscribe, leave a comment if it worked, leave a comment if it didn't, and if you found any other solutions to fix it while you were fixing, leave a comment on how you did it yourself. Thanks for watching this video. I hope this works. I hope it helps anybody, and I'll catch you guys later.